This might be shocking for a few of you. I'm about to give you some alpha that I just uncovered in the e-commerce world, and it's actually a bit shocking to me as well. I know the power of fashion. I'll just say it right now. We're not gonna waste any time, but I'm always surprised when I find a nine-figure fashion store on Shopify that I've never heard of before, right? Because at that level, chances are I probably would have heard of it since I do this stuff every day. Welcome if it's your first time watching my videos, but I've actually never heard of this store. It's called aboutyou.com, and they're just a straight up fashion brand. I would say even a general fashion brand, though they do go for a slightly younger aesthetic. It's not, it's aimed I would say at like the millennial age and maybe some Gen Z potentially, but not really. And this store, is doing pretty insane numbers. So as you see, their traffic is continuously rising, like super, super steadily. This data is really interesting to see. I always am hyped when I find uh, stores that are picking up like this because you know they're doing something right in order to be driving more and more traffic to their website. Um, and the alpha here that I'm gonna show you or the info, this is all through paid tools, by the way. So again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe because I love going through all the research that my team and I uncover through the thousands of dollars a month that we spend on softwares and things of that nature and provide it to you for absolutely free. Um, I think it's gonna have a good ripple effect in the world long term, but that's besides the point. So through crunchbase.com, which is a database of businesses and funded businesses, private equity business, basically every kind of business out there um, is on Crunchbase. And on Crunchbase, I found the profile of this store called About You that surprisingly had raised over $300 million. So not only are they doing really well, right, just through um, wh what their numbers are on their store, but they've also raised a pretty obscene amount of money. I mean, $300 million, that's pretty crazy. Now, what's also crazy is that this is actually a German brand. So this is mainly through germ the german market now obviously i'm on the u.s store now um i think and i'm seeing a lot of traffic so they're running ads on in all sorts of parts of the world which makes a lot of sense that's the beautiful thing about e-commerce or one of the beautiful things about it but what's really crazy is how many ads they're running but let me see let me just filter real quick by active ads because that always makes it a little bit clearer. Still, 930 different ad results. So, you know, they're using that money for obviously a variety of things, I'm guessing, but largely on meta ads as well. You're not gonna be spending money on so many ads just without actually having some money to blow, unless it's really performing super well. But the point here is that fashion is powerful <laughs> and fashion is just one of those niches that like will never be saturated truly um, there's always more brands it feels like more fashion brands popping up if you go to a mall it's like 90 percent fashion fashion is just a wild niche now what do i think about this brand in terms of like you know their size i guess well i think it's just impressive i think it's pretty crazy that they've been able to get to this point I think they started in 2014, so about a decade ago, but now they're a nine-figure brand. So nine figures a year being produced after a decade is pretty impressive. Like, that's amazing numbers. Now, if you look at their TikTok, they're really active. They have 1.2 million followers there. They have um, on IG, oh, let me go back to the site. On IG, they have a, a pretty decent amount, too. And that's the cool thing about these stores is that through running ads, you're actually gonna build your following too, 1.4 million followers. That's pretty impressive. So yeah, it looks, like I said, their targeting is pretty much just like millennial women. Um, and I guess some men as well. Really, really popular uh, demographic, obviously. Those people have a lot of disposable income. Let me see their Pinterest. I bet their Pinterest is also pretty big. Um, so actually it's not very big. Uh, well, actually, 67,000 followers on Pinterest is pretty big, but keep in mind they've been growing it since 2014 or so. Um, but still, super cool, really impressive, really impressive brand. I would say if you are building a fashion store, you know, model your stuff after the best. That's at least in my opinion a good idea. Sure, you can try to 
corner a market, get very niche specific. And um, that's a really good idea, but still take notes from this stuff. Like look at how everything is set up. It's actually really simply done. To me, it's like an, a general store that sells trending fashion products. Um, and I think they actually also sell branded names like wholesale wise. That's a really smart move because, um, you know, I think these are Adidas, for example. Yeah, Pumas. So they're selling brand names alongside their own stuff, um, which is smart because it actually adds authority to the fashion store. It makes it more legitimate. At least, at least that's how I view it. Um, I've seen stores like this for a very long time and they always impress me. Uh, I think they're just clever despite operating in such competitive markets, they're still able to thrive. And yeah, it's just really impressive. I wanted to share it with you guys. Obviously, if you wanted to build a store like this, there's many ways to do it. You could start small. Um, you could use the AutoDS feature that allows you to import products from like a variety of places. So you could build a similar fashion brand vibe. Um, that's actually an interesting idea. I, I'll potentially test that out with my team for you guys, uh, just so because I have a good partnership with AutoDS and they actually gave me a 30 day free trial that I can offer you guys as opposed to just a 14 day. And you can import products from so many places there, which is so cool. And yeah, just wanted to share this with you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was um, interesting to you. This brand, it was interesting to me. So I'm glad to have found them. I'm definitely gonna explore them further and try to learn as much as I can from them to potentially apply to our projects or clients that we run or just for information for the accelerator. But yeah, that's it, peace.